Okay, the um, the Fertilance in space. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad ship. Um, it looks like crap, but it's not a bad ship. The Fertilance is a uh, a right hand drive. Uh, so there's your um, there's your co-pilot seat on the left there. So opposite to the Python, which means you have that wonderful offset cockpit. Let me just roll over a bit there to give you a bit more light on the cockpit struts. Um, so you can see, you know, you're, you're slightly off centre. Um, I've already thrown my um, my hard points out. The convergence on this craft is is pretty good. This is a, you know, this is shaping up to be like a combat ship. Uh, so let's just um, this is just two weapons points, uh, two two weapon picks. All of your class two points are coming from either the top or the sides of your nose, um, and this ship does have a big nose. Uh, your cannon underneath. Um, you know, you're firing a big slug, you know, not much to say about that. But the weapons convergence is great. If you can get nose on your target, you know, you'll be able to put some pain on them. The massive power distributor um, really does have an effect. So here is uh, four pips to weapons and I'm firing my pulse. You can almost see the power distributor keeping up with uh, the, the, the drain of those weapons. You could probably mount beamers in those points and still do all right. I, I think you'd be able to, you know, if you can keep your nose on your target, um, you'll be able to get some, some hurt on them quite badly. In terms of maneuverability, um, this sucker's not too bad. So let's just find that station. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Um, I should have lined this up beforehand. My apologies. I actually got interrupted on my other, um, my other video. So here we come up to the station. So let's just uh, let's just flop over. This is at um, at standing. Um, two two pips to engines. So you know, it's about what 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. About halfway at 10. So you know it's about 20 seconds to flip this sucker over it could be a bit less maybe my counting's bad sorry for the riveting uh, video here but that's you know that's about what you're looking at when this sucker gets moving it's not too bad at all so here's four pips to engines we'll put her into the blue and we'll flip her over massive boost in pitch there you know this thing is is doing quite well it's, it's getting over there nicely that's much better than most craft its size. Um, oh, sorry, that was only at two pips. Uh, so, you know, very, very maneuverable, rolling, you know, not bad, not bad roll on it. You could, you could go to, you could go combat in this, this guy. Um, yaw, quite a respectable yaw on it actually as well. So, you know, you could, you could use this uh, craft in a combat zone uh, quite easily. What does it look like? Ah. Oh, Gods, what does it look like? As I said, I, I don't like the look of this this ship. Um, but here's the new um, here's one of the new new things. We'll go and take a look outside. So using your flight controls, you can uh, you can have a look around your ship. So here we go. This is what it looks like in space. Uh, it's currently got its hard points out. Let's go on just around here. So the hard points, you know, open up these, you know, take these nice, well, I should maybe if you like them nice, take the panels off and make your ship looks like it's, you know, missing um, missing things and exposes the infrastructure of your ship, you know, the, the superstructure and the internals. So you can see there your hard points on the nose. Wait, wait a minute, I want to go forward. Um, that's why your, your weapons convergence is so good. You've got those two top mounts and two side mounts on each side. Um, you know, gimballing will be gimballing will be a bit of a problem uh, in as much as that you know your left hand side class two mounts can't reach the right hand side at all. Uh, but you know, with a ship like this, you're probably not going to be gimballing too much. The um, underneath hard point, uh, it's a bit dark. Yeah, it's a bit dark. You can't really see it. Uh, but there is a you know there you can see the cannon mount on the underside. It's a little bit back. Um, from the cockpit, it's just back. Um, yeah, I, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. When you're using something in a class four point, you're using it against big targets. 
So you probably, you know, you're probably not going to have too much too much problem hitting things with that either. You could mount a whack and great big turret on the underside, you know, for those pesky little vipers and that that try to get on the underside of you. Uh, something like a, you know, a turreted fragment cannon or something like that if you were that way inclined. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, it's useful. Its placement isn't bad. Uh, here's the cargo hatch, um, which is those those little lines there, um, scoop I should say. So yeah, uh, that's you know to to come outside and do you know vanity shots of your ship if you really want to. If you're one of those people that just has to buy every pet in World of Warcraft, uh, you can come out here and do that. The back end of the ship looks like ass. Um, overall, the ship looks, you know, in my mind, pretty boring, but then again, you know, you don't look at your ship that much. You mostly look at the inside, and I think, in terms of capability, this one isn't going to be too bad. So, I'm going to take this one out, uh, actually, no, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and land this sucker, and then I'm going to uh, take out the vulture. Do the same with the vulture that I've done here. Two other little things, I'll just, or three things I'll mention while I'm here. On the left of your uh, radar, your heat gauge now shows you where your overheat and where you will start to burn. So you can see that top little quadrant um, on, on your heat gauge, that's where you'll start to burn. The um, new comms features, so up here you can see you know, where these comms are coming from, plus there's other you know, comm markers there, uh, which I'll, I'll go through when I start using them. Um, the fuel tank is small. You can start, you can see actual segments on the fuel tank there, whereas most of the time you're used to a solid line. Um, so, you know, you, you, you really probably do need to watch your fuel in this craft. But given that it's a combat craft, that's just the way Elite Dangerous does it. You know, you're not going to get long range combat craft. They're just, you know, it's just a design thing that they've decided to go with. And, you know, you, you, have, to, you have to live with that. I think this one's going to be pretty beefy in terms of shields. Um, when I get into a combat zone, We'll try that out. So yeah, Vulture's up next.